Hope you've got a nice weekend plan with friends and family, relaxing, staying cool. I mean, we did that a little bit this week. Tuesday and Wednesday, we stayed cool in the 80s. We did not today on the first day of July, 94. So that's what we just lived through this week. Next week, you can see uh, no 80s, but also no 100s. We got a pretty solid week in the 90s, including on Monday for the 4th of July. Now, the showers and storms we had earlier today are history. We only have a 20% chance of rain tomorrow, but I am drawn to this little swirl down here off the coast of South Carolina, and so is the National Hurricane Center. They're saying this thing has a 20% chance of developing, and I don't think it's going to happen, but that doesn't really matter. This is one of those situations, whether it's a name or no name, it's lopsided, it's disorganized, but it is going to bring a little bit of rain tomorrow to our coastline. I'll show you that in just a second. Here's our snapshot of what's coming our way Saturday, the 2nd of July. Again, could have a little bit of fog in the morning as we start off in the low 70s. Uh, also a small chance of rain, mainly south and east of the Triangle, mid to late morning and maybe mid-afternoon. But notice the chances are only 10 and 20 percent, so it's not a significant amount of rain. Even if you do get some rain, it's not going to totally ruin or wash out your day. But it will be hot tomorrow as our high will be 92. And I'm sad to bring an end of this week of super sunsets from our coast, with the exception of the Mediterranean Sea earlier this week. I mean, we have had some great shots along the North Carolina coast. This one is back to Emerald Isle, where we were last night. Thanks to Sherry for capturing this uh, great bit of orange, not only in the sky, but reflected in the water there. I'll stick this on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page. And note that the sunset is now one minute earlier than it was last night. That's right. Not only are days getting shorter, but this week where we've had the latest sunsets of the year is now over. And the sunsets are going to start to get earlier now. So the big picture, the obvious thing is high pressure offshore. And what's obvious about it is look at all this southerly flow that's cranking up our humidity and our heat. But then kind of sticking its nose where it doesn't belong is this little bit of low pressure right there. That's the one that the Hurricane Center says there's a 20% chance of development. And me calling it a low pressure is a stretch. I don't think it's all the way there yet. It's trying to form. It's close to the coast. It's got some uh, problems it's going to run into. But either way, that's what's going to bring the coast a little bit of rain and you can see that as we pick up future cast tomorrow morning. Lance will be in tomorrow morning keeping an eye on this for you and updating you on the rain chances but we'll watch central North Carolina. I know some of you are headed to the coast. You might run into some rain but never rains all day at the beach and that's exactly what we're expecting tomorrow. So again a few specks of green sliding in throughout the day tomorrow in our area but I mentioned it's only a 20 percent chance and then look we get toward the second half of the day tomorrow and it, it even dries out along the coast. So that's your Saturday forecast. Sunday brings our best chance of rain on the extended forecast and it doesn't start to pop in until Sunday afternoon. You can see some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Again, not a washout, but our best chance of rain and a marginal risk of severe weather. Damaging wind could accompany some of the storms, so we'll keep an eye out for that. And goodbye, Bonnie. It finally formed earlier today, but tonight it made landfall in Central America. So we're on to the next name storm on the list, and that is Colin, but nothing really imminent out there right now. So back here at home for the holiday weekend, we're stuck around 90, we've got high humidity, and we'll have to dodge a few scattered showers and storms. And if you like that forecast, you're going to like the whole 10 day because that's pretty much what we're locked into for the next 10 days. Highs in the low 90s, scattered showers and thunderstorms. But guys, we do not have any 100 degree temperatures. I feel like the rest of the summer is going to be a cakewalk because uh, it's already hit 100. It. You just Jinx ruined it. it. Did yep. I jinx it? Yep. Yep. yep, absolutely. Okay, I'm actually off the next couple days, so Bye. good luck. That's why you're going to spend $1,000 <laughs> in gas. Right here. Uh,